So now let's take a look at Magic's Movie Edit Pro's new Shot Match feature that lets you match one video clip to another. This means you could take a movie that you like and steal a look from that and put it onto your movie. Or just straighten out your own video clips so they all pretty much look the same as far as the look. We'll also take a look at a little bit of color grading and the copy effects feature. Okay, so let's get started. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So let's look at this great shot match feature first. I've got it open right here. Now if you don't have a video clip selected, this part won't show up. So you've got to select an object first, and a video object, click on shot match, and then you'll get this little panel right here where you can use it. And it explains in here how to use it. But first, let's just look at the problem with this video. We see we have one video here, actually several, that have pretty much the same color arrangement and lighting. It's kind of dull looking, although the colors don't look too bad. And then we have these clips here, which the lighting is very yellow. And the reason for this is the camera settings. I was using a fluorescent light to do this, and during these clips I used a camera setting that was actually for outside. And it didn't work too well. It made it look like it was all yellow. And then I realized my mistake and I switched the camera setting to fluorescent and the rest of the video doesn't look too bad but it's still kinda of dull but what we want to do is match the first few video clips that are yellow to these other clips but first let's just doctor these clips so they look just a little bit better before we use them as a match so looking at this clip right here that was actually filmed with the correct setting on my camera we have a little bit of dullness here. It doesn't pop too well, so I'm going to go into uh, color right here. And let's just add just a little bit of yellow, orange, maybe, just to give it a little bit of a warm feeling. And it's still not very bright, so let's go to brightness and contrast. And let's just bring the gamma up a little bit. Now one trick you can do is you could actually hit auto exposure like that and that kind of corrects some of the contrast and brightness so it looks pretty natural. So say we wanted to go with that, those settings right there. I'll bring this up, see if I can get this up to 50 a little bit. You can actually just type it in here if you want to. Like if you wanted 50, just type in 50. All right. Now we got it the way we want it it's not too bad just go over it again make sure it's the way you want it my eye is not perfect for color but I'm doing the best I can I think it looks alright to me it may be that it needs a little bit more or less of this yellow effect you can decide when you do it but I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna to try to shot match my other video clips in the beginning to this Okay, so we don't have to save anything there as far as that. We can just get out of it by clicking this dark area down here. Now, what we want to do is go back to Shot Match. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the video that I want to affect. Say I want to affect this first one. And I'll bring the pointer over there too. So that's very ugly. <laughs> so let's go to uh, Shot Match, which is right here. We'll bring that up, highlight the object. Now the first thing we want to do is choose the target. And this is the target. So you've got to have the target highlighted or selected as they say right here. And then you want to go ahead and click this button that says select target. Alright, so we'll select target. Now it moves down to this one. You want to place the playback marker on the video clip. And remember it was this one right here that's the look that we're looking for and I'm going to try to put it where I had it about right in there doesn't matter but the whole clip has been affected okay so I'm going to pick that one and then just select the reference frame so it's going to go by that frame and the final step is to match the shot so I'm going to click match shot now it says 
it's supposed to, or the playback marker is supposed to automatically pop to the modified object. And I find that it doesn't do that, but it doesn't hurt anything either. I just have to move it over there myself and look. And now you can see that clip doesn't look half bad, and it matches the first one, so that made it really easy. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the same thing to this one, which was also the same setting on the camera. But what we can do is actually go to this first one, go to Copy Effects right here, and you can see Shot Match is selected, so I'm just going to hit Select All to make sure. Do Continue, then go to this one and do Paste Effects. And now you can see that one is now corrected. So they both look the same, and they kind of match this one. But what about these others? Well, I can't actually just paste the effects on this. Say I go to this one and do Paste Effects. It doesn't work because this was recorded with a different setting on the camera, so that correction doesn't work for it. So I'm just going to hit the Back button here, the Undo button, get it back the way it was. So this one was used with the settings from the original one. So what we want to do is copy the effects of the original one. And I'll just select all, make sure I've got them all. Now I can go back to these and paste the effects on those. And then I can just go through the whole video, each clip that was recorded with those same settings on the camera, which was fluorescent, and just paste the effects to them. And that'll make everything pretty much the same as far as the look. So that's how simple it really is. And so I just showed you how to use Shot Match. I showed you how to use Copy and Paste Effects, as well as we went in and did a little tweaking for color correction and for the brightness contrast. So color correction was under Color right here. You can just move this little wheel if you want to. There uh, are some sliders down here. You can select individual bands that you can change. And then we have brightness contrast where I increase the gamma just to make it pop a little more. I also clicked on auto exposure, although I don't think that was really necessary. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. Shop Match is a great new feature and I'm really enjoying it. By the way, this is Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2019 and that's available now at magics.com you can get a license right there or it's also on Steam I believe so if you want to get it it's a good time to get it and I think they've got a sale going too so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox which is under the bell icon if you want to be notified when my next video comes up see you later